Hey folks, I'm Lauren Dunn, Lead Product Evangelist here at DocuSign and today I'm joined by Mo, who is in Sydney, Australia. How are things down under, Mo? Oh man, it's pretty cold here, but loving life, you know? Cold? Living life. it up, yeah. Define <laughs> cold, because I'm from, I live in Wisconsin and my negative 30 is, is my cold. Yeah, no, that's no, not cold. No, it's not cold here. It's, <laughs> okay. it's somewhat compared to that, yeah. Okay. I'll stop okay. complaining. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mo, you are our lead uh, solutions architect here at DocuSign. And today you're here to talk to me about Salesforce um, Experience Cloud, right? That is correct. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's definitely what I'm excited to talk about today. And thanks for having me on your um, on your channel today, for sure. Of course. Um, let's um, maybe share my slides and then I can run through a bit. Sure. Um, but I'd love to just jump right into it because that's kind of what I do. Uh, before I get started, um, I'd love to connect with you, um, provide me feedback. Just, you know, I'd love to build my network with you. That's my um, LinkedIn QR code. I'm sure you all know how QR codes know work by now um, over the last couple of years anyway. Yep. Um, but please do connect with me. Um, that's kind of step one. Now, what, what are we here to talk about today? I thought I'd run a, a session around uh, DocuSign and how it works really well with the Salesforce Experience Cloud. Mm -hmm. um, now, I've gotten a lot of demand from, from customers over the last couple of years around, you know, how can we really maximize, you know, what we do with DocuSign? We have a lot of, um, you know, if, if you're not familiar with Experience Cloud, it's, it's a great digital experience uh, platform. Um, if you think about your Salesforce CRM today, that's your kind of internal uh, platform. And this is your external uh, platform for customers and for partners to engage uh, with your organization. Um, and so there's a lot of use cases there, like maybe a partner uh, logs on, uh, it could be a broker, and they want to send an application form out to their customers. They want a change of address form, an NDA, for instance. Um, and all of these require a signature. Um, and that's really what, where DocuSign comes in. So I'll show you some really quick ways to set that up. You know, there's zero code. It's, it's actually not very technical at all, to be honest. Um, it, and you follow a wizard, five steps, and, and you're done. What I will do, though, is, is show you some of the tricks of the trade as I go along, um, some of the things that I've learned along the way that save me time, that, that give you a better result, provide a lot, a lot of good value. Um, what I will touch on as well, uh, and I won't go through a full, um, you know, how to set it up. Um, um, it, it is pretty straightforward, but what's great about Salesforce Flow and other functionality is, um, you know, once an envelope is completed, maybe you want to be updated, you know, in, in chatter, or you want a downstream process to kick off. That's really easy to do with DocuSign. So I'll show you how you can trigger that off, and I'll show you how you can do a chatter update there. Um, I'll also link some, some great resources around that as well. Um, and I'll show you a quick example of a more advanced scenario using Apex. Now, we're not going to go into Apex or anything like that. Again, there is a blog around exactly how to set it up. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll share that link with you as well um, at the bottom of, of this uh, page. Yeah. Mo, you're spoiling me today. I'm excited. Too much? Too much? No. <laughs> Give me all the learnings. All right, beautiful. Let me jump into my screen. Okay, so we're looking at Salesforce now. Um, wh what I've done beforehand is installed the DocuSign Apps Launcher. That's you know very straightforward to do. If you haven't done that before, um, you know there's there's plenty of of tutorials and videos on how to install that. Uh, but essentially, once you've yes, I link it. Awesome, you've got one. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> Um, all right, so once you've done that, we need to go in and create what's called an envelope template. Now, the envelope template in this example that I'll run you through is for an opportunity. Um, and now the opportunity might be sitting in, in our experience cloud. Um, I want to be able to log on as a partner and send off an NDA. So before I jump into it, I'll show you where we are today. Um, here's my experience cloud. It's, you know, a uh, an experience cloud setup. Um, I've logged on as the partner, for instance. My name is Dylan. I've 
there's some opportunities that have been assigned to me um, and I'd like to be able to action them and, and send you know, like an NDA out to my, my customer, for instance. Um, I also want, so what I'd like to do is have a very simple button here that says send NDA. Um, what I'd also like to do is track it via this status here. So this NDA status, I want to be able to see that it's been signed, you know, specifically when the customer has signed it. So that's what I want to do. Um, let's, let's go through and show you how we can do that very easily through the envelope template, yeah. Now, it's, it's, if you've set up an envelope template before, um, you know, probably 70% of the steps are, are, are going to be similar, but the ones that are different are where it makes a difference. Um, so now I'm creating a new template. I'll, I'll call it, um, you know, send NDA. And what you'll see here is there's an enable experience cloud checkbox. Now that should be available to you in order for this to appear in the experience cloud. Um, if it's not, then you'll need to follow, and this is the first link that, that, that I'll share. Um, the, there's a guide in the sales, DocuSign for Salesforce admin guide. There's a specific thing around the Salesforce experience cloud envelope template. Um, you must have DocuSign business professional or higher. And you, you have to have the enable community cloud feature enabled on your DocuSign account. Now, if you don't, please contact DocuSign support um, to, to have that enabled and, and we can help you directly with that. So that's, that's the first step, um, get that enabled and then you'll be able to see that check checkbox there. From here, we'll select the type of object that we're going to work with. So it's an opportunity, um, I click next. And then we go through that same process of, of creating an, an envelope. Um, mm -hmm. I can upload my, my document. Um, again, this is my NDA that I have here. If we take a look at it, um, there's some merge fields that I want to add in. Um, I want the ability to, for the customer to write back some information. You know, I, I want that whole engagement to be, to be quite seamless. Mm -hmm. um, so this is kind of a one pager here. You can see some data that I want to, that I want to fill from, from Salesforce. Let's do that, open that. Add that in, and that's pretty much it for the first step. That's step one done. There we go. Only four steps to go. Um, we're doing well. We're we're off and running. Yeah. Um, step step two is you add the recipients in. Now, if you've set up a standard envelope template, you, you may be familiar with this. But with the the Experience Cloud, you'll see it creates um, the first recipient for you is a Community Cloud user. Now that's really great actually, because what it means is the person who's initiating it being say the partner who's logged on, they click the button to send the NDA, then they can view it. And, and they can, if they're happy with, with the way it looks, the way the data has been merged, um, then it can be sent off to say the customer for them to sign it. So there's kind of that, that in between step as well. Mm -hmm. um, it can also be used if the customer's self-service signing it, they can just sign it on the spot as well. So that's really good. Um, in my example, though, I want to be able to send it off to the contact. Um, so if I type in contact, there we go, opportunity contact role comes up. And this is the, the contact that's in my account. Um, you know, you can, you can assign them whatever role you want, but we'll, we'll say in this example, we want them to sign it. Um, you can also have them, you know, receive it via SMS or email, a whole bunch of options that are available to you here. I'll click add. Um, and that's pretty much it. I've set up my um, recipient, being my customer, to sign off on that. Now, one of the, the neat tricks that I really like to do, um, say with my email subject, I want to make that more personal and I want to add the customer's kind of company name or their account name. Um, so if I say NDA for, um, there's a certain um, you know, format that you can follow. And this may look like a bit strange, um, but essentially what this is, is the opportunity.account.name. And that's essentially a placeholder for, or a merge field essentially for that value. So that account name. So every time you send that out, it'll, it'll replace that with the actual account name. Now, where did I get that from? That's my second link. Um, the second trick up my sleeve is this link here around merge fields. And, and I'll include that at the end as well. Um, but you can see all these different merge fields for contacts, for opportunity, 
all at your fingertips here. And you can use it through in different stages throughout throughout that template as well. So that's that's really useful. Mm -hmm. um, I click next. All right, so from here we can add merge fields. Um, now it's already uh, pre-filled or pre-added all the merge fields that I've set up beforehand, which is great. Mm -hmm. I'm not reinventing the wheel every time. Um, but if I was to create a new one, I could simply go in, you know, select say an account name if I wanted that. So account um, and then name, and then that would automatically allow me to merge the account name into that document. So mm -hmm. if, I, if I wanted them to write back, I could do that there. Um, if I wanted like, you know, to make it a required field, all, all those functionalities are available to me there. I'm not mm -hmm. going to add it now, just to show you that, you know, you can add merge fields and it's just a couple of clicks away. Click next. Um, now we've got the actual document, that Word document. Um, and all we're doing is really, now I I've set this up in a simple manner where we're just dragging and dropping fields from the left onto the document. So, you know, for instance, I want the opportunity contact role. So we, we choose the right recipient first and we want them to, you know, have the date there, the date that they're going to sign this NDA. But then we want something like the company name, right? So the company name is a merge field. Go to the mm -hmm. merge field area, select, uh, let's max, let's go this, expand this out a bit. Um, and then scroll down, right? Fill, fill the rest of the information in. I'll make it quick. Um, we've got the name here, we've got their email, and then we've got the other merge fields as well. So like title, um, mobile. Cell phone for any Americans. Yes, it is cell phone, my bad, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've done all that. We add the signature in as, a, as the last step. And now because I'm a little bit on the OCD side, I like everything to be, you know, aligned well and, and all the font the way I like it. So what I do here is I just highlight them all, um, make them all Arial because I like Arial. Don't ask me why. I'm the same. Creature <laughs> of habit, I guess. Yeah. yeah. There we go. That's all done. I've just finished my template. Click save. <laughs> um, and literally we're, we're, you know, one or two steps away. So it feels like we've been going for maybe, I don't know, five minutes, seven mm -hmm. minutes maybe. And we've set yeah. up, we've almost set up a template. We're, you know, it's, it's pretty impressive. Um, okay, so this is, this is a unique step to the Experience Cloud. Yes. You, you need to um, set up a, a, what we call a, a, a system sender, like a, 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 in DocuSign, you can have users, so the users can be for each, obviously for each person sending an envelope out. Mm -hmm. For the Experience Cloud, you need a purpose-built user that, that's there as a system sender, essentially, just for the purpose of sending from DocuSign. Now, the reason for that is when you think about the Experience Cloud, it's for external people to your organization. They're not going to be a user on your DocuSign account, mm -hmm. but you do need to send from a user. So this is going to be that user. So I, I, beforehand, I, I set up a, a DocuSign user called Customer Care, mm -hmm. um, and, and they're already set up in the system. So I just add them in, and I can add reminders in and, and so forth. The automatic reminders, I like to call that the nag button. It is the nag button, <laughs> yeah. I actually think DocuSign created that button for me because I'm terrible at like, I open up my document and I never sign it and then I go back and, so I, I think they created that specifically for me because I'm terrible <laughs> at remembering to sign my documents. You'd be surprised at the number of people who actually, you know, end up signing it a lot quicker because of that. It, it is yeah. very nagging, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, what I've done here is um, document write back. So we've, we've set it up. So we're actually, you know, saving the document into the attachments area, saving the certificate as well. But now we want to update some... Uh, data, uh, the status updates back in as well. So that, that's also very easy to do. Um, mm -hmm. We come in the envelope, if it's in the completed status, um, let's say if it's in a sent status, I want to track that as well mm -hmm. from my NDA field that we were talking about before. Um, this has a sent status there. Update that again to the completed one. We'll add a second one in. So we can track exactly where it is in the process, whether it's sent, 
whether it's signed, whether it's completed. So this is kind of my mapping done there. Um, so I, I can track that directly from the opportunity. Awesome. Again, like I said, it's it's very similar, not very similar, but there's a lot of similarities with just a normal envelope template and one for ex experience cloud. Um, but you know, th there's a couple of tweaks and, and things you need to know about beforehand. Um, mm -hmm. So that's why I thought it'd be really good to show, you know, a live kind of setup. Um, okay, so we've got that button that we're creating, send NDA. Once I hit save and finish, that'll add that button into my experience cloud. So allow me to then kick it off from the experience cloud. So I'll click save and finish. Successfully modified layout. Let's see if it's that quick. <laughs> Let's go in, take a look. Um, so I'll go into my experience cloud. I'm looking at that same opportunity. I'm playing mm -hmm. the role of my partner now. Um, I've logged on, click refresh. Now what I'm hoping to see on, on the on the right here is like in send NDA button, mm -hmm. or I can actually send that out. Ta -da! There it is. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah. Um, okay, that's it, right? I can kick it off now. So let, let, let's play that role. Let's kick it off. I'll click send NDA. Mm -hmm. And what this will do is this will allow me to then um, view that document and then um, before it gets sent off to the customer. Okay, cool. Cool. So I'm viewing that. I'm happy with it. It's filled in everything the way I like it. Um, I click finish. That's pretty much it. It's it's done everything I wanted to. Um, and now I can, you know, sit back and just kind of watch the customer do their thing. Um, the customer will receive an email. So again, if you've seen DocuSign work before, it's it's a similar process. I go mm -hmm. in. I get my NDA. So we can see here it's it's you know filled in that value. So for partner ABC, which is pretty cool, that placeholder I was talking about there. Um, click the review document. And I can view that that document here. So click continue. Um, yeah, so that mobile number, we all, all these values we can actually write them back. So if I was to change this, hey. For instance, that would write that back to and, and sync that back to Salesforce. Um, I can then sign here. Click adopt and sign. Um, now, just before I, I send this back, mm -hmm. I wanted to check that status um, on my um, on my opportunity. So if I click refresh here, we'll see that it's sent. So we're actually tracking that. Mm -hmm. And we'll also see that there's been a, a new chatter update there um, using okay. Salesforce Flow. So, so that, that happens automatically. We see it's in a delivered status, which is really cool. Um, come back, I sign it, complete it, um, and then I'll show you kind of uh, what happens after that, basically, which is um, also also pretty, pretty useful and, and nifty as well. So I've signed that. I can view the document. Um, and I say, look, I'm happy with it. I've got my own records. I've got my copy. Mm -hmm. um, great. I've got this. Uh, when I look at it and I hover over the signature, you can see it's not just an image on the screen. We're actually tying personal details of that person into the document there. Um, and we're capturing everything in audit log in the background as well to prove that they're the one who signed it. Perfect. Um, so that, that, that all happens there. Beautiful. All right. Now, where's that document here? There it is. Click it here, awesome. and and yeah, it's it's all it's all done. I mean, it's all in the Experience Cloud as well. So, so the partner can then see all this information as well. So you, you can show as much as you want. Um, so all all that kind of information is available there. Perfect. Very very cool. Um, and it's in a status of sign now. And the env the um, if I click refresh, we should get a new chatter update as well for that. Um, so that's kind of the the first part of that, um, I'll delve into the flow part quickly, um, and then I'll show you a, an example of, of how Apex can really work and make this a lot more kind of robust as well. So, um, so yeah, there we go, completed status. What do you reckon? You like it? I love it. I always thought, you know, when I heard oh, Experience Cloud, I always thought it would be super complex to get it, get a button on the Experience Cloud to sign it, like 
I'm learning something new here. I'm like, oh my God, it's super easy. It is very I'm, easy. I'm yeah. shocked how easy it is. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, this it like that's why I wanted to run this because the, the number of I don't know, the number of times I get asked for it, I'm like, yeah, it's it's actually really straightforward. Like, here you go, you know. <laughs> exactly. There's a couple of things you need to know, but that's it, right? It's not it's not a huge kind of setup at all, right? Yeah, exactly. So how do we set that up in terms of flow? Mm -hmm. um, again, um, I'll show you one that we, that I've set up beforehand. Here's one that I prepared earlier, you know, the classic line. Um, okay, so we're going to set up, going to flow. Here's one that, that um, has been created here, envelope status chatter. Mm -hmm. So what this will do is this will kick off and I'll, I'll run you through it. Um, the first step is the trigger. That's the most important one. Once you figure out the trigger, then you can do whatever you want with it. Now the trigger is the DocuSign status object. That's what we're looking for. There's an object called DocuSign status. Um, you find that when the record, whenever that record is updated. So if it's updated from, you know, draft to sent to mm -hmm. delivered to completed, then you can decide what you want to do with each of those steps. So in this example, we're going to communicate those steps out, and then you can add as much detail as you want. So once we've once we've triggered it, once we've kicked it off, we can then, so in this example, it's either getting a case or an opportunity, it works for both. Okay. So we'll, we'll, you know, either or it'll work with, which is really cool. So you can use this trigger for, for you know, a number of objects. Once you've gotten that, that record, essentially, whether it's a case or an opportunity, we post that chatter update. Um, so that, that chatter body that you see there, and I'll show you on the left-hand side what it looks like. Um, and then all we're doing is referencing the, the record ID, basically. That's pretty much it. There's no nothing in the advanced area, I'm not hiding anything under my sleeve. That, that's, that's, that's all it is. So it's um, Lauren proof is what I'm hearing. What's that? Sorry? It's Lauren proof I'm hearing. <laughs> I didn't say anything. You know me too well, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so this is the chatter body uh, example that, that we've got here. And again, this is just capturing IDs and whatnot, but, but some, some useful things, and, and you, you can get a whole bunch of like variables and parameters that you want to use. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the actual status from DocuSign. You can communicate that. The, the last time it was updated, so a timestamp. If I go into the, the variables that are available to me, I can go in and see a whole bunch of things like the actual email, the sender email, um, the time the time it took to complete it, um, even like the email subject. If you want to if you want to communicate that, all that information is available to you, and, and you can do what you want with it. You can create a new record, create a chatter update, um, mm -hmm. you know, kick off if you want to get really advanced, you know, other processes. So it's really up to you how crazy or creative you want to be with that. I love it. Yeah, um, that is that one. I did want to show you one more thing um, mm -hmm. while while I'm here, and this is just quickly to show you kind of the what I call the art or the possible, I suppose. Um, when you've got like DocuSign as a full Apex capability inside Salesforce, um, the example that I run through here is a case. So let's say I have a case that for a new application. Um, what we've got here is is what we've called Clever Send, but essentially it's using the Apex toolkit in the background to pull out all of the templates, all those envelope templates. Um, you can filter them out just for the ones that you want for the partner to view, but essentially they can view all those templates there. So the one that I just created now, which was called Send NDA is there. Um, but for this example, maybe I just want an application form. So we select application form, I click mm -hmm. Clever Send, and then, it, and then it basically will just send it out to that customer via email. And, and that's it, right? Now think about the possibilities of that. Once yeah. this is set up once, every template that you create, um, you can automatically be in here. So, so there's no more coding involved. It's a one-off coding task. And then you know everything, all those envelope templates that you saw me create that was so easy to create um, can be automatically kind of viewed within this drop-down list. Um, and I, I, I love that. I, I think that's really powerful. I think, Mo, I'm going to need you to come back here and show me how to set up this Clever Send. 
if you want, I can do that. <laughs> At a more uh, convenient time for you, because I know it's super late for you. <laughs> no, that's cool. We can definitely do that. What what I will leave you though with is um is the final link, and I know I've I've shared a lot of links, but um the final link is I I worked with um one of my awesome colleagues um in in Singapore. And he, he put together this this kind of series on our developer blog called Beyond a Signature for Salesforce. Um, what I showed you was two of them, um, which is the, the Salesforce flow example. And there's kind of really step-by-step -step example on running you through that. Mm -hmm. um, so if you scroll down, you can see all the different, there's a video, there's steps on how to set it up, all that kind of stuff. This is the Apex Toolkit one, and this will show you know, step by step, how to actually set up the Apex Toolkit. I'm happy to run you through it in another session, definitely, no problem. Um, but this is also a, a way that you can have a look at it yourself, have a play around with it y yourself as well. I love playing around and breaking things and fixing yeah, them. Yeah. That's how I learn: is breaking and trying to fix it and go back and make it work again. And so, cool. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Um, and that is kind of it. That, those are the three links that I had there. Any questions that you had? Anything you want to know? Uh, you've like blown my mind right now. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. But I will also paste these links down below. Um, Mo's already given you his QR code at the beginning of this presentation. If you want to, yep, there it is there again. If you do have questions, post them below, reach out to Mo, you know, have the conversations this is the whole point of these series of this series is to learn new things and i've learned a lot I, I actually i had my pen i was taking notes oh my god i love it thank you so much for teaching me i'm oh, like no worries i'm all like oh i'm gonna go play with that i'm gonna put that all in my um my demo account and play with it now and <laughs> spin up an experience cloud org and oh all the possibilities i know what i'm doing for the rest of the day <laughs> Mo, thank you very, very much for taking the time to, um, you know, sit here and, and teach me and I'm after learning so much. So I really do appreciate it. And I will have you back real soon. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. everyone don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, feel free to post your questions down below um, or reach out to Mo on LinkedIn um, and we will get you all the answers that you need. Um, with that, see you next time. Bye. Bye.